Oh, oh, man. Well, Adam, it's snowing in April. How do you feel about this? <laughs> it's a magical feeling. It's a bit ominous, but it's pretty. Yeah. Better than getting rain done. But we're hoping to find maybe some fallback uh, steelhead still. There's been some rain, so the chance for some fresh fish is remote, but it's out there. The steelhead run here on the famous Brule River is bigger than the salmon run. And so I think we could get lucky here. Water levels are up. Things are dirty all around, but the Brule tends to hold its shape down here, down uh, upstream a bit. You're on the wrong path though, buddy. And so we're gonna walk in, move around, and maybe we'll hit a second spot here. Be nice if the snow kind of ends before it turns to rain, just from a temperature standpoint, but we're off. Beautiful snow falling here right now. Big, large flakes. Northern Wisconsin woods. Let's see what we got here. Whoa, whoa it just opened up right there. I didn't know we were that close. So I was looking down. Certainly not Chaco Mumu. Let's get some lures in, see what kind of visibility we got. Looks quite visible though. Yeah. The trick will be not snagging because I can't see sticks too well. Go down right here and hit this. It wraps around right here, Ron. Oh yeah? I want to see how the lure visibility is. And it's going to be a fight with the current today. Lure's spinning nicely. I think I'm going to switch to something gold though. This is a um, MEPS, or no, a Vibrax rebuild. And I always make them heavier, particularly with the flow today. That one's got a heavier weight net. I think we're going to... I'm going to switch to something bright and yellow. I think I'm going to go to just a standby, a double bullet 18 with a green specked and red and orange tail. Hey, you got a beaver right here. I've never seen a beaver this close up. There he goes. A beaver, super close up. Super close up. He was swimming right there. Um, take the little trail and hit that next pocket because this is a tight spot right here. But you want to hit that flow right there. Yep. Pretty cool. Yeah, he was right there. I mean, I saw, it's going to be great on. Did he just swoop down? Right in front of me. Gave you a flop. Cool. Right here. You can see him? Tail is cut off. Did you see that? No, I didn't see the tail cut off. Right here. Oh, maybe he's injured. Oh, yeah. Look at the tail. It's, it's, he's hardly got a tail. When you're fishing here, you always want the outside bend edge. 
that's where the fish Never are going to be. Inside, huh? Hardly ever. I mean, this is kind of interesting because there's a flow across it here. There's a We could see a fish in this. You see a fish? We could see a fish in this here. This has been a spot where I've caught fish. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We got one. We got one. Yeah. We got one, Ron. All right. One, Let me get my net. Big. Bring him on over. Keep him down. Keep him down. Keep the tip down. Let me get behind you. Walk up a little bit slowly. Don't fall. It's big, Ron. It's a good one. Lift up. Lift up a little bit. It's a steely. Yeah. No. Ooh, that's a snake. snake. All ah, right, Adam. We were talking about those. All right, let's not let him get go, out here. Go to the bank. Go to the bank. <laughs> All right, that's a 20 inch flake. That thing hit like a snag, but. Awesome, Adam. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. I'm not going to get my hand wet because we're taking this home. Yeah, we can bonk them because you can't handle that fish on the stringer. <clears throat> I would go, can... let's bonk them right away. Yeah, let's get Check them out, bud. I don't want them to fuck my net. I know, I was trying to look at what to do first here. Here, let me grab the hook right there. It's up here. See it? You don't, you don't want to twirl grab, more? No, just grab that barb and see if you can... Don't grab my net. Get him out. Give him a little shake there. I think he might be twi- there we okay, go. Okay, he's out. So let that okay, sit. Good. Now we can bonk him. Yeah, nice splake. <laughs> it's not a brookie for sure. No, it? that's a splake. Fork tail. And there's all kinds of mar uh, spotting on the gills. Let me get him and bonk him. And we'll get you a picture. Wow. And that that's great nice. eating. Yeah, fork tail. See the fork tail? Definitely a splake. Let me get this out. All right, man. Look at that, dude. You're not even here an hour yet. You're not even Woo! here an hour yet. And you're hitting fish like freaking Joker. Dude. I was like, let me just, because we didn't downcast there. I'm not trying to downcast a lot because it won't sink. Here, here, I but, think. Uh, do I was it. like, we didn't hit that down there on that. Oh, my. All right. Love it, man. The yellow. I'm telling you, they like the yellow Vibrax here. A lot. Just get my rod right. Yep, do what you gotta do. Wow. The sun comes out. Ooh, bud. He's flake there. That's bigger than 17. Yeah, that fish is. He looks 20 to me. What do you got right there? 20 and a half? Yeah, I would the, move it up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, right there. I would say 21. 21, the nice pension. flake. Hold them out. <laughs> All right, Adam. Way to go. Adam with a 21 inch flake. Look at the um, vermiculation on the gill plates. Um, yeah, the rookies very don't cool. have that. They'll be silver. And then fork tail. A little bit of a fork tail. Brookies are always square tail. No, no little bit about it. Brookies are a square tail. Nice flake. <sighs> Way to go, Adam. You're on the board. You know, and that's a good one to get out of there. Yeah. Yeah, and they eat because, you know, you don't need extra competition delicious. necessarily. Delicious. I've tried that. I had a 17 before. Wow, 21 on that. That's a 20 plus fish for me, too, which is also an added. And it's definitely your personal best brule, Blake. That's like that, too. Look at it from the top. Look at that. Yeah, no, camouflage. that's going to be a great fish to eat. <laughs> My PB brule, Blake. <laughs> And you know the rule. I'll you know the rule. This he who catches around. the fish hits the stringer. So let me show you a trick here that I do with this so that you don't have to worry about what kind of knot you tie. Off the bat. But I you always pick like one. a spot. This would be a better one. Yeah, so you go that, through it. It might be too tall for you. You got one on the bottom. I got a belt too. What do you get? Where's your belt loop? Here. But I don't necessarily I don't want like, it down there. No, I don't like that. Let's do this one. We'll see if it's too if it's too short for you. Let me know. It actually might help when you're walking through the woods. But the trick is happened. put the loop through. Right. Right. 
and then you do a double knot. Double one. knot. And that holds it. Two, right? And that keeps the... Cinch it. And then you put this through. And now that fish is not coming off. And your, um, this poker won't poke your waders. Shouldn't poke you. Don't fall on it. Don't, no, no Harry Carry. No suicide. Yes! All right, I'm so glad you got one, dude. Tell you, it's worth that's it. Hey, if we catch a stringer of those, that's I mean, good that's too. Like, those are great eating. It's like a exotic, like a tiger sort of, you know, like look at that body bud. Beautiful spike. Oh yeah, we'll be eating today. We could see a fish in this. You see a fish? We could see a fish in this here. This has been a spot where I've caught fish. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We got one, we got one. Yeah. We got one, Ron. All right. Get my net. No, Ooh, that's a snake. snake. All right, Adam. Uh, we were talking about those. All right, let's not let him get go, out here. Go to the bank. Go to the bank. There we go. All right, so you get your net? Yep. Your bigger one? I'm gonna pull it off your back here. Yep. It's a smaller fish, it's not a big fish. Okay, okay. He's coming right good, to you. Good. My good right here? Yeah, he's coming right to you. Yes. All right. 
Well, we're stringing fish. We might as well keep them, huh? Yeah. You guys, freeze it or smoke it. Take it home. Good old weekend. <laughs> All right, off the Schneid. And that was a full on hit. Look at that. All three hooks. Jumped in for it, too. Go ahead, put them on your stringer. You'll get to work that. So now what you do is pull the pull the metal part through the loop right. first. Mm -hmm. And then just undo the double knot. It should come out nice and easy now. Just mm -hmm. pull it, one more, and pull it through with the handle. Mm -hmm. And get ourselves a brown. He looks about 15. Nope, got, don't have you to You want to just stack it? Yep, just stack them. <laughs> yum yum yum. Uh, you can do an old man a favor and keep carrying the stringer. I know you can. You want to bonk on that guy or just? He won't cause too much trouble, I don't think. Or you want me to bonk him? Well, that's a good effort, folks. Day one up north. Adam bags a freaking 22 inch uh, splake. And I caught myself a 15 inch, maybe 15 and a half inch brown. Beautiful. And as always, thanks for watching Wisconsin Trout Fishing and happy fishing. Happy fishing. <laughs>